What's up guys, it's Kobe Brock and welcome back to my channel. I'm also here with Sam Goldbach, so thank you for tagging along and coming Hello. with me on this journey. So this video is sponsored by Hollister. As you guys probably know, me and Sam are very adventurous people. We like to take chances, step out of our comfort zones, and just make new experiences in general. I teamed up with Hollister and they gave me this awesome jacket that's very comfy and perfect for this kind of cool day. So that when I'm exploring this airbase today, which is right behind us, I'm not only gonna be looking looking good, but I'm gonna be feeling good, comfortable. You can easily take chances and step out of your comfort zone while wearing Hollister. You can be explorers and also have style. You know what I'm saying? I got it all That's what I'm talking out. about. But yeah, we don't really know where this Air Force Base is. Brennan has been here before. We just talked to this guard and he said that it's probably like a mile hike up this road. So he's really cool about it. We're allowed to be here. We're just gonna have to look and find this, but hey, that's all about taking chances. It's kind of windy and chilly it's up here. It's a little windy and cold, but hey. Good thing I have a jack to keep me warm, you know what I'm saying? Dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Why don't you tell me how important it is to step out of your comfort zone and take chances? Give me an inspirational talk right now. Everything that we have ever learned, everything that has gotten us to this point where we're walking up the sides of mountains, exploring abandoned places, is all because of stepping out of comfort zones and taking those chances. Yes. We learn like confidence, all about our business, all about how to move out to Los Angeles, all because of these times that we take chances and I'm out of breath. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we only started really walking. Yo, dude, check it out. Free tacos if we keep going forward. Oh my God. Yes. Woo, it's so hard to walk. Oh my gosh. But like we always say, when you see graffiti, that means you're going to the right place. So Woo. now the question is, do we go up this giant hill or do we keep walking the street? I have no idea. Hello. Wow, you're turning me down and I look fresh. You kidding me? All right, so we're still walking this path. Boom. See another free taco free tacos, sign. Thank God. But check that out. There's none. What? Maybe we should just turn back now. Yeah, let's go. There's, There's no stuff. tacos. Thank you so, so much. You are the best. That's what I call taking a chance. Well, that was an abandoned place right there. That is some missile place I read about. Oh, that's where we want to be, actually. Why do you guys go? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Thank I read you about so it last much. night. So yeah. sorry. You're the best. Good luck. Yo, I've never <laughs> Wait, done that. Wait, there it is. What? We made it! Guys, that just proves to you my point from the beginning. Take chances, ask questions, and you might hitchhike all the way up to an abandoned Yo, don't airbase. hitchhike with randos on the side of the highway, but if you're trying to get to an abandoned military base... This is what you gotta do. Alright, well... You can just walk past the gates on this one. Yeah, so apparently the gates are open and they're just like, yeah, come on in. Here's an abandoned air force. So if this was a missile base at one point, then that means probably under all of these big metal containers, there were hundreds of missiles. How do we get in there? I don't know if we can. Let's see. I think a smart idea would have been to watch other people who have been here before to see how they got into this place, because I'm not sure. Wait. Oh, uh, my eagle eye. Oh. It spotted something. This is this how we get? Oh. I don't think that's how we get in. It's very barren. There's not that much here because I feel like everything was just stored underground. I was gonna say, do you think it got destroyed or do you think it's just all underground? There must be just like a big room underneath this and that's what I'm trying to find out if we can get in there somehow. Do you think this was inside of a building or like a runway? I seriously think that this is like the roof of a building and there's a huge room underneath us. Right, we found a hatch guys. Is this the one? No, they're all covered up! God, God dude! Obviously that place didn't work, so round two. Let's go up this way. Whee! Oh, we can get in there for sure! Oh, yes. Alright, let's go in here. Turn British somehow. There could be, like, people living in here. You never know. I guess this would be pretty private. As you can tell, there's so much graffiti here, too, so that means it's definitely a, a hot spot for people. Oh, there you go, you can get in. Guys, pep talk before we go in. This is what it's all about. This is about taking chances, stepping out of your comfort zone. I don't really want to go in here, to be honest, but I gotta make new experiences, and there's no other way to do that besides in Hollister apparel. So let's get in here. This is actually really small. Hello? Oh, dude, is that a bed? We didn't bring any masks or anything, so like, there's asbestos probably on. Exactly, if there's anything added all to breathe in right now, we're breathing it all in, so we probably should get out of here pretty fast. There's not much in here besides just a bunch of wood. Bed over here. What do you think? This was a big just storage facility, I feel like. What do you think, like, all these wooden things are? They're like crates. Honestly, it looks like they were put on their sides and it was bunk beds. 
especially if there's a mattress right here. Could you imagine all these like wooden pillars just on the side? Oh yeah, I mean they would need housing for the Air Force. Especially if like they built this a long time ago. They mm -hmm. can't like travel back and forth that entire hill. Up and down, up and down, they probably just slept here. What does that even mean? Yo, that's like a weird riddle or something. It says, I'm scared of the dark. Oh god, and there's so many crows around. It has to be like a stencil too of a crow. Yeah. Because they're all perfect. That's crazy. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm getting the creeps. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Awesome, look at that bus. That's crazy, yo. Little... Whoa, look inside of there, dude. It's literally just the interior. Yeah, hey. why is the steering wheel like the opposite oh, way? Oh. This is so interesting what looking. That's how it got crashed. Yeah, I was just like... And then it, <laughs> oh, you he just accidentally crashes. turned his steering wheel around and ended up perfectly right here. <laughs> this is like one of the coolest things I've actually think we've ran into. Yeah. Like a giant bus that's just completely abandoned. Uh-oh. Oh, this looks majestic, dude. The sun setting in the background <laughs> and you're climbing this. Nice Hollister jacket. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully <laughs> this just doesn't immediately break when I'm up here. I know, right? Not even kidding. On top of here, there's bullet holes. Like somebody just stood up here and was like pew, pew just shooting down into this thing. Oh wait, I can see that. Yeah, from underneath. That looks so sick. Now this is where it looks like they store big cars or something. Like, it looks like a giant garage to me. Yeah, yeah, so they have crazy. huge garage door openers. Yo, check this out. Didn't know I could make Hollister look more cool if I had angel wings. Oh, look at that, man. Hey. Is that our entry point right there? I think we can get on top of that and then jump onto the top. Boink, boink, boink. That might be kind of a struggle to pull ourselves up there. That might be. Oh, here we go. This is our entry point. Do I don't it. know if this is going to work, to be honest. I hope this is stable. I don't think it is. Oh, well, heck yeah. There we go, brother. Don't die. There's nothing to hold on to when you get up here, brother. Slide down that pole. Oh, shoot. It's a baby with a six pack. And this, guys, was why we came up to this air base, was to show you that if you take chances, if you step out of your comfort zone and make new experiences, not only will you be able to discover and explore new things like this, how crazy, depending if you get Hollister or not, you look good as well. Plus, there's a breeze right here, and I can't even feel this because it's so comfy. You saw this Air Force base. If you want me to come back here, maybe with Brennan or something, or Sam, you can come along as well. Maybe we do like an overnight, or we try to go actually into the missile base. Like, I know Brennan has done that. I'm getting kind of tired, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go curl up in a corner back there and sleep the night away. You can Uber home or something. Wait, um, You're going to sleep in there? Yeah, is that cool? It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone, dude. Okay. House is comfort. Well, then I'm going to go hitchhike back. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Sam for accompanying me and filming this for me. Check out all his stuff in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want one of these jackets, I'm going to link it down below. First line of the description. You can go get it today. Thank you so much to Hollister for teaming up with me and making a cool video out of this. Comment down below your favorite part. And I love you guys. You're the best. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Wait, dude, there is a free taco giveaway. Look. Oh, wait, what? Come on. Yes. Come on. Thank God.